Hello students, welcome to this feedback of your comparison and contrast paragraphs. We have been thinking with Mr. Roldan to give you this feedback so you can improve your writing skills. So let's start. We are going to begin with the topic sentence. Remember that a topic sentence must have two important elements. They are the topic and the controlling idea. Without these elements, the topic sentence is not a topic sentence. Well, if we take into account these elements of the topic sentence, we are going to conclude that the topic is the subject of the paragraph. In the case of the comparison and contrast paragraphs, we are talking of two uh, subjects because we are comparing two places, two cities, two objects, two people, whatever. And the controlling idea is what you are going to write about the subject. In the case of these paragraphs, in, in this controlling idea, you are going to have the points of comparison or difference included in this controlling idea. Well, let's see an example of a topic sentence. Facebook and Twitter are different in popularity and purpose. Facebook and Twitter compose the topic of the topic sentence and popularity and purpose are the controlling idea. So, uh, obviously, we are, the purpose is to make a difference, that is to say, to contrast Facebook and Twitter in which fields in popularity and purpose. So, the supporting sentences are going to be connected with. Let's analyze some of your topic sentences. Look at this one. Although coronavirus and influenza are Evans viruses, they are different diseases. So, the controlling idea has unspecified items, different diseases. What are you going to tell or to write in your paragraph about? You need to include the specific points. You have the two subjects, coronavirus and influenza. Obviously, the purpose is to make a contrast because you use the word different, but the controlling idea is not clear. Another example. While the similarities tend to outweigh the differences, there are some interesting ways that men's friendships differ from women's. Well, I don't get the meaning of this sentence, which, by the way, is too long and confusing. The controlling idea, what is it? Interesting ways? Are you going to compare or to contrast? The purpose is not clear at all. Continue with the examples. Virtual and attendance classes may be valued through some points like social bonds, subject comprehension, and fulfillment of tasks. So, it is a long sentence, as you can see. The purpose is to compare or to contrast because uh, maybe value through some points. So no comparative, no uh, uh, contrasting uh, purpose in this topic sentence. Besides, um, it is like an opinion paragraph because this person used the word valued. So, this is not the topic sentence. Another example. Loving movies and loving real life are similar, but there are also major differences. Love in movies, love in real life. So, we've got the two subjects. Similar differences. Are you going to write about similarities or differences? We have the two subjects, but the controlling idea has unspecified items, major differences. You have to state the differences or the similarities in the topic. Another one. The challenge of teaching is not as different between teaching adults or teaching children. So, do you understand the meaning of this sentence? I don't. Besides, remember... When we use comparative as as, you need two, yeah, two ases, as as, and here there's only one as and then between. And can you see the specified controlling idea, the points of comparison or contrast? I can see it. So different, but what are you going to write about? 
Look at this one. Students' way of being is the main difference between teaching children and teaching adults. So, way of being, first of all, there's a language interference here, Spanish over English. Way of being, what do you mean, forma de ser? Well, no, in English, personality, character, behavior. So, don't think in Spanish, please. The controlling idea has only one point, that way of being. So, you cannot use just one point of comparison or one point of difference because, obviously, uh, one supporting sentence and one example only are not enough to write a pattern. Look at this one. Teach means to give someone knowledge. What is this? Is this a topic sentence? No, it is not. Besides, this person used a bare infinitive as a subject and that can't be possible. You must use a gerund or a two infinitive, but not a bare infinitive. Uh, there is no subject, there is no controlling idea, there is no purpose. So, whenever you write the topic sentence, please read it, reread it, and reread it to analyze if it contains or if it has the topic and the controlling idea. Please. Specified items. Now let's move forward and let's talk about supporting sentences. Remember, the supporting sentences must match the controlling idea, the points of comparison and the points of difference. If we have two points of comparison or two points of difference, we are going to write two supporting sentences. Let's analyze this example. Facebook and Twitter are different in what? In popularity and purpose. So that is the example. Facebook and Twitter are different in popularity and purpose. So we got, we've got popularity and purpose as a controlling idea. Now the supporting sentence is the first difference between Facebook and Twitter is popularity, as simple as that. Don't use flamboyant language or more complicated. Let's analyze some of your supporting sentences, or one of yours. Coronavirus and influenza are different in symptoms, mortality rate, and medical intervention. Okay, we've got three points of difference in the controlling idea. Perfect. But the supporting sentence is this one. For example, patients that develop influenza often suffer high fever. So, there's no supporting sentence here. There's no supporting sentence because the supporting sentence should say uh, the first um, the first difference between coronavirus and uh, influenza is symptoms. For example, patients that develop influenza often blah 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 blah, but you need a supporting. Specific examples. After the supporting sentence, you need specific example. Let's analyze this about Facebook and Twitter. We said this supporting sentence. The first difference between Facebook and Twitter is popularity, okay? For example, while Facebook has more than 2 billion users, Twitter only checked 50 million accounts. As you can see, the examples are connected with popularity. You have to match that, please. Don't forget, in order to achieve coherence in your... Now, let's move to the concluding sentence. By no mean you are going to repeat the same words of the topic sentence in the concluding sentence. I know that you know that the concluding sentence is a coming back to the topic sentence, but the problem I saw is that some of you repeated the same points of comparison or difference. So, a concluding sentence must rephrase or paraphrase the points of comparison or contrast included in the topic sentence, but do not repeat them. Concluding sentence. The topic sentence was, Facebook and Twitter are different in popularity and purpose. 
the concluding sentence, all things considered, Facebook and Twitter differ in acceptance and objective. As you can see, I didn't use popularity, I didn't use purpose, I use acceptance and objective, and the structure of the sentence is also different. Take into account this one. Coronavirus and influenza are different in symptoms, global impact, and treatment. Okay, a very good topic sentence. Now, concluding sentence. All things considered coronavirus and influenza, different symptoms, global impact, and treatment. So, they are the same words. That's not possible. Please, when you write a concluding sentence, please paraphrase or rephrase what you wrote in the topic sentence. We really hope this presentation is useful for you for your future assignments, for your future paragraphs. Please do not forget what we said in this presentation. Thank you very much.